Hello everyone, today we will work with VLAN. So first let's look at the definition. So I think you guys know what a LAN is. It's a local area network that actually interconnect the computers within a limited area like a school, college or any other organizations. So uh, here the definition of VLAN. A VLAN is a group of device on one or more LANs that are configured to communicate as if they were attached to the same wire when in fact they are located on a number of different LAN segment let's say we are actually creating a LAN that um, actually between uh, different different uh, buildings so we will actually create a network like this here here there are three switches and many network uh, many computer or let's say end devices are connected to the network and then we actually connected all these three different networks together and we are creating a VLAN through these uh, lines or through this connection. So here we actually created different LANs here. As you can see different colors like red, blue and green. VLAN 10, 11 and 12. We will create different uh, VLANs here like the first one and the last PC of each switch it will be actually uh, VLAN 10 and the second and the sorry uh, the second PC and the fifth PC will be actually connected like VLAN 11 and in the middle position the two PC will be connected and they will be as VLAN 12 so this connection will be in all three of these switches and here after that we will actually be able to send data from VLAN 10 from one network to another network that way uh, only VLAN 10 user can actually transfer data between each other so let's just draw this so you can actually understand it when we send message now we are just taking three switches here we will create a LAN and then we will create the VLAN so I am taking six PC the first one and the last one so PC 0 and PC 5 those two will be VLAN 10 and this configuration will be in all three of these switches. So I will just focus on one uh, combination and then you can actually do the same thing for the other switches too. So let's connect them now. And actually connect this very carefully. You need to actually connect them serially so that when you actually uh, write the command you don't forget whichever um, which line was actually ethernet port which one so we will just connect them serially ethernet 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this and we will do this for all the other switches and other end devices too Okay, now if we actually send message, you will see that we cannot send message because we have not given any IP address for our PC. And we need to give the same class IP address for all this PC if we want to send data or if we can actually uh, give different IP address to for different VLAN that is actually necessary. So because of, uh, okay, for avoiding the complication, we will actually use the same class IP address for all these PCs. If you want, you can actually um, change the class between the VLANs. Like VLAN 10, all the PC that, are, that is under VLAN 10 will have the same class and all the PC that is under VLAN 11 will have another class IP address. You can make it like that. So I will use the same one. So I just copied it and I will just change the net, sorry, host ID. And the net ID will remain same. That way I will give all the PCs IP address. I will just fast forward it.
now if i actually send message you will see that you, we can send message between the end devices that is connected to one switch that means one lan here and we are connecting these switches together now as they are both switches like uh, the same type of device so we can actually connect with this kind of wire copper crossover wire and if the devices are different type of devices then we need to connect with copper straight through wire like we actually connected the computers with the switch and after this okay you can take mark on this if you want to actually see all the uh, numbers of the port so that uh, it is okay it's become easier for you to write the comment i will not use it okay so everything is done if we actually send message from one uh, switch to another switch and you can see it is successful so we can actually send message now because there is no vlan but if we actually create some vlans here then only the pc under the same vlan will be able to send data with each other and all the other data will be different by this we can actually protect our data if we want to create a secure network like um, if the ceo want to hide their data uh, from the okay, lower level employees and so then they can actually use this type of uh, system where their pc will be protected only the higher official will be able to access that access that pc of the uh, ceo that way we can create that type of network so let's go to the switch one and go to the cli and here we will start writing the command here first let's start by writing enable and after enabling it you can see the hash sign so now we can actually configure our switch port so here inside this config t here configure terminal you can write it in the short form and then vlan 10 then we are actually giving a name v10 so vlan 10 will be shown as v10 and then exit like this we will actually name all three of our vlan vlan 11 and vlan 10 sorry 12 So we are saying VLAN 12 and the name V12. You can name it anything else if you want to. So after this, okay, now again we are inside the switch hash sign. Here, we, if we type show VLAN, you can see this VLAN configuration here. This is actually active this vlan 10 and 11 and 12 we have set the new name here v10 11 and 12 and here you can see all these uh, ports of the switches but uh, inside beside the vlan you cannot actually see any port there because we have not uh, decided which port will be under which vlan so now we will do that so let's just press enter until you see the hash sign beside switch um, as we have actually um, connected all of them serially so we don't need to actually see i know that that one the first one is fast ethernet 01 but if you need to see that port name as i have shown before you can actually go to preference and click on that click beside that icon in the square box that will actually let you show let you know all the port number so here i'm just configuring fast ethernet port 1 here you need to write first switch switch port mode access you can write it in the short form switch port m and then tab if you actually write in the short form and press tab it will actually give you the full form so here after this we will need to write switch port more access vlan 10 so we are actually giving this port under the vlan 10 and then exit and we need to give our fast ethernet 06 also under vlan 10 so again interface fast ethernet 06 and switch port access vlan 10 as we have already written switch port mode access one once in the previous section we don't need to write it again we just need to write switch port access and then which vlan okay and then after this here 
these two are under VLAN 10. Now if we actually want to send message between them then we can send them. But we cannot send the data or receive data from other computer to these two PC. As they are under a VLAN but other PCs are not any of in another VLAN so only these two PC can uh, communicate and transfer data from each other here you can see successful but we cannot actually send data to the PC, um, to the second computer you will say this failed if we send again it will again fail so I hope now you understand that this so I will actually create some more VLAN and this time we will create on uh, this VLAN for all the other switches too so that uh, we can actually connect to the all the VLAN 10 that is in all three of these switches so again let's go to our switch okay and also if we click on this switch you can see the VLAN here VLAN 10 under VLAN 10 the port 1 and 6 okay so again we go to the CLI section and here we will actually make the port 2 and port 5 under VLAN 11 so we need to write again like the same way that we actually wrote previously for second port switch port access VLAN 11 and exit and then interface fast ethernet 0 5 switch port access VLAN 11 and now we need to actually write the comment for these lines that is actually connecting the switches to each other So interface first Ethernet that is our port 7 so 0 7 here we need to write switch port mode trunk and then after this press enter and then no negotiate sorry switch port no negotiate then press enter and you can exit okay there is another line here so we need to write about that too fast ethernet 08 switch port mode trunk and after this no negotiate sorry switch port no negotiate and exit okay now if we open this you can actually see the villain name beside it okay I made a small mistake here and I have not actually given villain 12 for the middle two devices so let's do this again here this will be 11 so fast ethernet ok switch port mode access sorry switch port access and we can actually write mode access because we exited from the previous section ok now we just overwrite it again with VLAN 11 and then in the middle position the two was fast ethernet port 3 and 4 these two will be under VLAN 12 And after this we can exit from there
Now you can see beside the VLAN name here the port that we assigned first port and the last port is under VLAN 10 and in the middle position VLAN uh, port 3 and 4 are under VLAN 12 so everything is working properly now we need to do this same thing for these other two switches too the code is exactly same so I'm just going to write it quickly and I'm just fast forwarding, forwarding the video you can write it actually by watching the previous section the code is exactly same because we just need to declare the port and the ports are the same because we have connected with serially from 1 to 6 everything will be same under switch port mode access only the port that is connected the switches there will be switch port mode trunk and switch port no negotiate and another port is connected to another switch so we need to write it again and here show VLAN so and again for the last switch here again we just need to give the VLAN name then switch port mode access and we will give access to the port and the two port for connecting to switch Now if we write show VLAN, we can see that exactly same result. Now if we want to send our message from the VLAN 10 from one switch to another switch, VLAN 10, you see successful. From VLAN 10 to this one's last PC that is also VLAN 10, so here the communication is successful. So for VLAN 11, if we actually send data from this switch to that switch, this is actually successful. So we have tested many of them. You see, if we actually try to send data from one VLAN to another, it will fail. So the network is actually now secured with uh, three different 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 network under the same connection